In this video, I'm gonna custom paint my own designer toys. A few months back, I launched my toy line. These bad boys dropped in four official colorways, but we also released some blank do-it-yourself toys that anyone can customize. So these are the three blank toys that we released. I think for this video, slowly place it down on the table. I'm gonna paint the yellow and the red because I do like the white just as it is. And I'm only gonna paint two toys in this video because not biting off more than you can chew is cool. Boom. All right, I'm going to attempt to see how take a partable these guys are. This is something that I have not done yet. Boink. Whoa. Yeah, baby. Ooh, I think, is that glued on there? I think there was a bit of glue and then, oh my goodness, this is the hammer hood. Legs, torso, shoes, arms, hands, backpack, head. That's gonna make this thing a lot more fun to paint so I don't have to get my brush all around every single corner. Anyway, let's go ahead and paint the base layer of these, get them primed so I can really start freaking and tweaking these out. Spray it down, baby, I'm an artist. Shake it right on, we gon' get it started. That cat spray it like it's varnish. The walls lay gray, it's looking sharpish. Swimming in the paint, the water technicolor. Make art every day because you know I gotta. Self doubt, feel like jaws in the water. Okay, I have all of my body parts here. Now I'm just gonna clean them up a little bit and sand them. It's time for my favorite supply of them all, matte medium. Now the reason why I'm painting these hammer hood figures is because in the launch video I announced a contest. There's all these blank DIY toys out in the world now, so what if you guys painted yours, posted them online, and then I chose my absolute favorites to win. First place gets a thousand bucks, but also first and second place gets one of these custom painted toys by me. All right, gang, the prep work has been completed. Now, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna paint on these things. To create my designs, I'm gonna be using the digital design bundle that got sent out to the folks who ordered the blank DIYs. When they got the blank toys, they also got a digital packet that was filled with design assets so that they could digitally design their concepts at home. I've also included a link to the digital design bundle down in the description, because this is a no purchase necessary kind of contest. Generally speaking, it's for hand-painted blank toys, but you know, if you couldn't afford one or you live somewhere where you couldn't get one shipped, you can make something epic, maybe a giant version of the sculpture, maybe a 3D animation of the sculpture. I don't know, you can use your creativity. You don't have to buy one to participate. Anyway, I'm gonna freaking use the same thing. So I'm gonna load these cool images that we sent out to everybody into my iPad and see if I can come up with some kind of quick and dirty concepts that will help guide me on my path to epic toydom and help me customize these beautiful baby boys with bountiful, vocacious, uh, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm gonna design these now, okay. I grabbed my iPad Pro, got my document set up, but what do I wanna do? I have an idea for my first toy, I'm feeling inspired. I'm gonna do Steve Zissou from The Life Aquatic. This sketch is super loose and sloppy, but I'm just creating a color roadmap that I can slightly reference as I'm painting this toy. I finished my Steve Zissou sketch, super loose and sloppy, but it looks like this. I had such a fun time with that first character. I wanna do one based on David Martinez from Cyberpunk Edge Runners. It's fun to take elements of the character and transition it onto this blank toy body. But if you didn't know what the reference was, would you be able to tell what it was from? All right, gang, I have completed the rough concept art. The sketches are loose, the sketches are ugly. Things will change from these sketches, but in the long run, it will be an effort worth doing. But now, it is finally time to start putting some paint on these toys. And I am very excited for that. And I hope you are too, because it starts right now.
I gotta start by painting this dude, Steve Zissou Blue. And in this timeline, Steve Zissou has delved so deep into the oceanography world that he started dressing up like the rare jaguar shark that ate his friend Esteban. Okay, and all of a sudden, the location of this video has completely changed. I just bought a new warehouse. You can check out the last video where I gave a tour of this place. Look at all this stuff. I gotta find my paints. I gotta set up a little paint station. I gotta find these freaking toys and finish this video in this calamity. I needed a table. I needed a light. I needed power. And I gotta tell you, it took me way too long to find all the art supplies. Matt Medium, we back in business. And all the stuff that I needed. Probably should have labeled these boxes a little better. Oh, I see paints. Oh, I should have looked in here first. Whew. It took like a couple hours to find all this stuff, but this is my temporary paint setup. Now, back to the toys. Basing these custom toys off of bits of pop culture made this project super fun. Because I've already designed four official 1000 color scheme, fully designed hammer hoods, it was fun to approach this more from, can I turn this into Steve Zissou? Even though it's like some crazy design, can I try and transform this weird hammer hood toy into a popular movie character? Okay, I've been putting this toy back together and try as I might, I am not able to get this head back on here. Every time I push it in, this thing just starts squishing down and the paint starts chipping and I have a lot of kind of patchwork to do here now. So what I think I'm gonna do is take my Dremel and just Dremel out a bit of this head hole <laughs> and neck post and try to make these things fit together because right now, they are not. Okay, moment of truth. Will this actually fit now? Yep, solved all my problems with a Dremel. If I had a dollar for every time I said that in my life, I'd have like four dollars. Okay, onward. So I grabbed the crazy glue and put the head in place. And while I already had the Dremel out, I went ahead and Dremeled down the next figure so that I wouldn't run into the same issues I ran into with this one. Okay, my Steve Zissou toy is looking pretty good so far, but there's some iconic things about Steve Zissou from The Life Aquatic that this is missing. That orange beanie that him and everyone on his crew wears, I have to have that. I mean, it's not Steve Zissou without the orange beanie. And then I wanted to do some like dive goggles because there's this mask on my original toy and right now it just looks like crazy cheekbones, but I'm hoping I can sculpt a mask and a beanie. So I got this, uh, air dry Sculpey. If you're a long-term fan of my channel, you know that I absolutely hate clay. Straight up F tier. Man, f clay. I'm sorry, f it. Or I'm afraid of it, really, because I always mess it up every time I try it. But we're gonna give it a whirl and see if I can make something that looks like something with one of my least favorite art supplies. Okay, so making the hat wasn't too hard. I hope after this stuff dries, I'm able to sand it a little bit. The goggles were definitely a little bit more tricky. I also used a small piece of plastic and stuck it in there to try and make it look like it's actual goggles. Okay, my Sculpey sculptures are air drying right now. So I think I will start on my cyberpunk inspired second toy and work on getting this guy painted up. Let's go. I think what I'm really excited for is to see all the crazy ones that you guys come up with. I hope that you guys have as much fun working on yours as I'm having working on these. You just gotta post your finished piece on Instagram with hashtag DIY Hammerhood, tag at 10 Hun, which is me, and tag at Martian Toys, which is the toy company that I partnered with to make these. I can't wait to see you guys' submissions. Okay, I'm on a bit of a break. I'm making very good progress on these toys, trying to finish both of these guys in one single day. But sometimes you just have to take that bike ride around the studio because when you buy a warehouse that's 15,000 square feet, you get to do stupid stuff like this. Look at me procrastinating, not painting toys. Sometimes life is grand, isn't it? I hope that air dry Sculpey works out okay. I am not a clay man. Oh gosh, there's obstacles in the way. All right, I should get off this bike before I break my camera, hurt myself, or I don't know. It's time to get back to painting. Whoa, jeez, brakes. Too much brakes. I just wanna, I just wanna pop, 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 p
Okay, it's time to finish this toy. And it's also time to let you know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is a website where you can build a website. If you're an artist or a designer or a photographer or a filmmaker or you have a dream you want to share with the world, you deserve to have a beautiful website. They have a metric ton of super beautiful templates where all you got to do is drop your awesome content into their amazing templates and boom, you have a website. If you want an online shop, they got that. If you want an image gallery, they got that. Maybe you want an exclusive members only area of your website, they got that too. I've been using Squarespace for years and years it's really easy but if you ever do run into any issues they have 24 7 customer support and they can definitely help you out so i think it's time it's time for you to have a super epic website and the way you do that is you go to squarespace.com to start your free trial and then when you're ready to launch your site go to squarespace.com forward slash 10 hundred for 10 percent off the first purchase of a website or domain Okay, it is day two. My air dry sculptures have had a chance to air dry. I have to spray varnish my Steve Zissou figure first because if I put the goggles on there and then try to spray varnish, it's gonna get varnish all over the goggles. And then I gotta sand these guys and I'm a little bit worried. I hope they're not too delicate to sand. I'm a total noob at clay. I hope it works out, but let's jump into it. You dumb pink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted some color in the background, you know? Well, hurry up, Dan. This is heavy. Once we get the studio set up, there's going to be no more manually holding backdrops. It's going to be great in here. Thank you, Dan. This is small. There's, there's no you. more manually holding backdrops right <laughs> Thank now. Thank you, guys. I appreciate, I appreciate because I'm a noob at Sculpey, and I also have a deep-seated phobia of clay, I thought when I tried to sand these, these things were just gonna shatter like glass. But as I tried it out, they were pretty strong. I even busted out my Dremel to really get in those nooks and crannies and try to sand these things down. Then it came time to paint my sculptures, which was pretty chill. I find it ironic that the first art project I work in my huge new studio, even though I have all this space, is these tiny little toys. <laughs> this dive mask was super hard to paint, getting in those tiny little nooks and crannies and crevices and trying to not get paint on the little piece of plastic I had in there was extra tricky. I took it slow, but I got it done. And now just a few dots of super glue. Put the goggles on. Put the hat on. And these little straps on David Martinez. And I think I'm good to go. All right, I think I have finished painting the custom DIY hammer hood toys. I'm feeling pretty good about it. There's a little bit of jank, but a lot of bit of cool. Did I nail Steve Zissou? Did I nail David Martinez from Cyberpunk Edge Runners? You guys let me know down in the comments. Let me show you the final results with the final sexy. Ah! Okay, I have completed my designer toys. These were super fun. Honestly, as a blank canvas, painting the Hammerhood DIY toys was absolutely a joy. I had a blast making these two little guys. Which one is your favorite? Steve Zissou? <laughs> the oceanographer extraordinaire? Or David Martinez from Cyberpunk Edge Runners? Consider this my fan art. Hopefully one of you badass artists will win one of these. First place gets a thousand bucks and a custom toy second place gets a custom toy i'm just gonna put all the rules and everything down in the description the diy art will probably be due in like two or three months plenty of time for you guys to get creative check out the description for the rules if there's any fake 
10 hundred accounts saying you won. That's not me. Look for my name. Look for the verified check mark. Watch out for the scammers, please. I have the little YouTube check mark next to my name. Please don't get scammed down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. This was super fun. I'm 10 hundred. Thank you so much to my patrons. You guys are the coolest people on the internet. The warehouse is progressing along to the people who saw my last video that was the tour of the blank warehouse. We are making moves. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to see updates on this space. This was fun. Uh, that's it. I never know what to say at the end. Subscribe. Please. Subscribe.